In August 2022, Woodrow Kroll Ministries President Tim Kroll returned to Brazil to see the progress being made and to determine the next steps to take to train untrained Brazilian pastors and Christian workers. In Mogi de Cruzes, a half million people suburb of Sao Paulo, he met up with Leandro Tarataca, our Portuguese team leader. Just before arriving, Leandro had given Tim the good news that the translation of the Helios GS project into Portuguese was complete, and all of the audio sessions had been recorded. Once the post-recording work is done, the project will be ready for production and distribution. Leandro and his ministry, Abacar, agreed to be a regional distribution center for Helios. This will allow us to keep our inventory in Brazil and deliver units to those in the region who request them. Pray as we work with him through the many legal, financial, governmental, and importing issues that come with establishing this center. During our time with Leandro, we were able to visit with two local pastors, Ivan and Mario. Ivan started a Brazilian seminary over 20 years ago, and every year they have dozens of graduates. But he knows they will never be able to train all of the pastors who need training and they're not equipped to train illiterate, uneducated pastors or those unable to attend classes in person. Mario is seminary trained, but he knows that most of the pastors in his and similar denominations are not only not trained, but they've been encouraged in the past not to get any training. Both Ivan and Mario have Helios USB units and have been blessed by studying the CT project. Both believe the Helios projects will help bring training to many Brazilian pastors who need it. We were able to visit with Jose Moreitas, an accountant who is chairman of the Council of Each Evangelical Pastors in Moji. He has been studying the Helios projects and can't say enough about how good they are and how good they are for Brazilian pastors. In their fellowship alone, they've had at least 50 pastors die from COVID and they're working to replace them. Many of those replacement pastors will be men without training. Jose asked if we would get them at least 100 more Helios USB units for the pastors in Moji. After spending time in southern Brazil, in urban areas, we headed to the north with a visit to rural areas where Helios units and training have been given out in partnership with the Brazilian ministry MIAP, that's the Evangelical Mission for Assistance to Fishermen, Their ministry focuses on reaching the fishing villages along the Atlantic coast of Brazil and the banks of the Amazon River and its main tributaries, like the Purist River. Their ministry includes over 30 Brazilian couples and individuals living on fishing boats or in fishing villages, doing the pioneering work of sharing the gospel, bringing new believers together to form churches, and discipling some believers to be leaders and pastors in the church. In 2021, we shipped MIAP over 1,100 Helios units to use in their ministry. While many have been given to their national missionaries and to untrained rural pastors, being a pioneering work, they have found another exciting and effective way to use the units. Their missionaries take three or four units. One, they give to a national believer they're discipling to be a leader in the Christian community. The other two to three units that believer gives to new believers are those close to faith in Jesus. Those people listen to the Helios projects to better understand what the Christian worker is sharing and what the truth of the gospel is. We met Paul, an unbelieving fisherman who is close to faith. He listens to his Helios solar unit for hours each day, often listening to the same lesson multiple times so he is sure he understands it. He even created a waterproof armband to attach to his upper arm so he can listen while he fishes. He showed us how he was listening to the lesson on Jesus being like the Passover lamb. He says he now believes in Jesus, but wants to be sure he can live to a commitment to follow Jesus before accepting him as Savior. There are so many other stories of how God is using the Helios units to train untrained pastors and Christian workers, as well as being used in evangelism for those close to faith in Jesus. There is much work remaining in Brazil. With such dedicated national partners, the teaching of the Helios Project, and your prayer and support, we will see the law saved, the church grow, and the Lord glorified. Thank you for being a part of his work with us in Brazil.